हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दी केयर प्लान ऑन एक्यूट गैस्ट्रो एंट्राइटिस ओके सो दिस केयर प्लान यू ऑल कैन राइट फॉर चाइल्ड हेल्थ नर्सिंग आल्सो फॉर मेडिकल सर्जिकल नर्सिंग ओनली फ्यू थिंग्स विल बी चेंज्ड दैट आई एल मेंशन यू ऑल नाउ फर्स्ट आफ्टर इंट्रोडक्शन यू ऑल हैव टू राइट द आइडेंटिफिकेशन डेटा ऑफ द चाइल्ड सो इन दिस नेम जेंडर डेट ऑफ बर्थ एज रिलीजन मदर टंग address then when was the child admitted in the hospital so date of admission will come then date of assessment so when you all collected the history and when you all did the physical examination that will come then what is the diagnosis of the child will come and the chief informant since uh, this care plan the information we cannot take from child okay so therefore we have to mention the chief informant whoever it is okay then we have to write the present medical history okay so in this what what are the chief complaints that the child is having that you all have to mention so here you all can see i have written that the that my patient was admitted with chief complaints of fever since one days vomiting since two days diarrhea since one day and abdominal pain since two days so you all have to keep in mind that you all have to mention if fever is present how many degree fahrenheit the fever is and since how many days uh, the child is getting fever okay so that also you all have to mention hmm. next is the antenatal history of mother okay so here you all have to mention whether the mother has taken both the tetanus injections whether she had any complications during or infections during the pregnancy and whether she was exposed to any radiations or and or uh, like if she is take if she ha- if she had taken any supplements during her pregnancy it all you will have to mention here then comes the natal history so in natal history you should you have to mention that whether the child was born through normal vaginal delivery or lcs okay whether he cried immediately after the birth and whether there was need for any resuscitation then what was his birth weight that also you all have to mention or any con- congenital abnormalities if present okay then comes in neonatal history now neonatal history and past medical history somewhat same you in both you all have to mention whether the child needed any hospitalization before and or surgeries before okay then is the nutritional history so in nutritional history you all have to mention for how long the uh, the child was on breastfeeding and when the supplementary nutrition was started and with what it was started okay then comes the calculation according to rde okay. now you you all have to do the calculations for what is the water what will be the water requirement the calorie requirement fat requirement protein requirement then what we, what is the degree of malnutrition okay what should be his expected weight all the calculations will come now this calculation there is a different formula there are different formula for this calculations based on the dif- different age groups so if you all want me to explain you all that you all can mention in the comments okay so next comes the 24 hours dietary recall so here you all have to mention what what does the child have like in 24 hours what does he have so you all can start from 8 am till 8 pm okay now you all have to mention how much quantity or ml he has so for example your my child at 8 am he had milk and toast so you all have to mention milk how many am how many ml and toast how many toast so one toast two toast okay you all have to mention that also then comes the immunization history so in immunization history you all have to mention till date how what uh, immunization he has taken and what he has not taken so if he suppose he has not taken any immunization what was the reason for that also you all have to mention okay so see you all you can mention in this way Uh, like i have mentioned age group vaccine dose route site rima or only you can mention what immunization he has taken okay no need to mention all this hmm? okay. next you have to mention the developmental history now this developmental milestones again is different for different age 
group like toddlers is different then preschoolers schooler is different adolescent is different new unit is different okay so I, now this i have mentioned your okay so you all can write this if you want me to mention all this like for toddlers for adolescents for preschooler schooler you all can tell me i'll make a separate video on it okay next comes the activities of daily living for how long he sleeps at night okay for day how long he sleeps and toilet training whether he has achieved attained it or not attained it if he has attained does there is there any complications okay that also you all have to mention then next you have to mention family history so in family history it is necessary to mention the three generations okay so here you can see the keys now for males it is the square for female circle if the patient is dead you'll have to do this and for patient it will be like square and then you'll have to you'll have to do an arrow okay so this is the keys and here you'll have to write the name of the this family member age and whether he's healthy or not okay that will come okay next is the physical assessment now here you'll have to do the anthropometric measurement the height weight head circumference chest circumference and mid arm circum mid arm circumference mentioning this is very important okay the norm the book picture and the like the child picture okay that also you'll have to make any remarks then comes the vital signs so you'll have to mention the temperature pulse respiration no need to add uh, this blood pressure for children okay so here it will come now remember that now you have written normal 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 so if the pulse is increased you all can in remarks you all can mention tachycardia okay if the respiration is increased suppose it is increased then tachypnea and it is decreased then bradycardia and bradypnea okay next comes the physical assessment okay now okay next is the physical assessment so you all you all have to mention the general appearance of the baby the skin how the complexion is integrity turgor then skin temperature then hair then nails how the nails are and also you all have to mention the cap capillary refill time okay in nails then the head how the head is whether the fontanelles are opened or closed that also you all have to mention okay then eyes how the eyes are then ears nose mouth and throats so everything i have mentioned you can go through this then the neck then neuromuscular system okay back and extremities now in back and back and extremities it very necessary to see if there is any spider spina bifida present okay or kyphosis lordosis something is present that also you have to mention then the cardiovascular system now in cardiovascular system if you are mentioning the pulse how much the pulse is that also has to be mentioned okay next come the respiratory system in this you'll have to mention the respiratory rate also okay that all the everything will come next is the gastrointestinal system in that now you'll have to mention differently okay inspection should be different palpation should be different percussion should be different auscultation should be different so i have mentioned the same format you all can go through this next is the urinary system in urinary system you will have to mention whether the follicular catheter is present then the urine output now you will have to mention what was the intake and what was the output if it is normal okay that also you have to mention next is the genitalia okay next comes the reflexes now reflexes if the baby is newborn then only you all have to mention all the reflexes okay okay but the, if the baby is like toddler or he preschooler no need to mention all the reflexes only this reflexes like sneezing reflex coughing reflex blinking reflex gag reflex this only have to be mentioned but if the baby is small then everything will come morose reflex then the palmer grass the plantar grass then doll's eye reflex sucking reflex swallowing reflex okay all these reflexes should be maintained then comes the investigation so seeing the case paper you have to mention the investigations like hemoglobin okay wbc neutrophil then the patient's value normal value and what is the remark whether it is increased normal or decreased okay see so you have mentioned all the investigations that was for my baby okay 
नेक्स्ट काम द ट्रीटमेंट नाउ द बेबी इज ऑन विच ट्रीटमेंट दैट ऑल्सो इज वेरी नेसेसरी टू मैंशन ओके सो यो आई हैव नाइसली इलाबरेटेड एंड गिवन यू ऑल द ट्रीटमेंट सो लाइक द बेबी वॉज ऑन इंजेक्शन टेक्जीन सो वॉट डोज ही इज ओके वॉट रूट थ्रू विच रूट ही इज गिवन द इंजेक्शन ओके दैन द फ्रिक्वेंसी वॉट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी दैन वॉट इज द एक्शन ऑफ द टेक्जीन then what is the indications when it is contraindication what will be the side effect and what is the nurse's responsibility that also you all have to mention so nicely see i have mentioned everything here okay you can refer this next is same that the baby also is also given syrup vitamin d3 so how is given everything see it is mentioned here then again same way your he was giving serum paracetamol and serum on dem also so everything again i have mentioned here okay the dose the route the frequency sos means tet okay analgesics palliative the action everything is given nicely next is the nursing diagnosis so before listing the like diagnosis you will have to list what problems the baby had so you are the baby at hypothermia okay so only you should not mention only hypothermia so you all have to mention how much degree fever okay then low body weight so what is the body weight of the this child you'll have to mention that okay so based on the list of problem your diagnosis will be framed now the diagnosis should be actual diagnosis and the potential diagnosis also okay you'll have to mention that and according to the priority so see you have mentioned all the diagnosis so for pain there was acute pain related to disease condition so what disease condition that you all have to mention and evidenced by what that also you have to mention so for acute pain you all can mention the pain scales you all have to mention the pain scale score also okay then hypothermia then imbalance nutrition knowledge deficit then potential is risk for fluid volume deficit and risk for nosocomial infections okay so these are the nursing diagnosis now based on that i have nicely you know elaboratively uh, explain the care plans also the subjective data like objective data see in assessment i have mentioned subjective in a diagnosis then what will be the goals the interventions you can imagine five or six interventions and an implementation rationally and evaluation okay see nicely i have given everything okay so this is for hypothermia okay so in intervention if you are writing assess the vital signs closely so in implementation you all have to write what were the vital signs okay so temperature pulse respiration same way if you all are doing this for input output i'll have to mention what was the input and output so then this is for potential okay now in potential remember that in assessment part no need to write the subjective data only objective data has to be written okay so this was for this for nosocomial infection so in care plans no only three explaining three uh, nursing diagnosis is more than enough okay for case study you will have to explain five but in care plan three is more than enough okay then comes the health education now again based on the uh, age group health education is given okay so your health education was given about the diet the growth and development the immunization okay then hygiene how the accident because he was only one year so how the accident can be prevented that was also told then play and exercise then rest and sleep and treatment and follow up so this was the health education so very nicely have written everything okay you all can go through this okay next come the nurses note now in nurses note no you all have to remember that the identifies that are used no it should be nine identifiers okay compulsorily for child health nursing okay this name age gender the ip number which will be on the case paper diagnosis the bed number the ward name the ward number and what is the doctor's unit okay so in nurses note you'll have to mention the date what medication he is on like how much mg and at what time then diet in diet you have to mention breakfast mid snack and lunch what is had so then you'll have to mention the time at what time and what nursing interventions were given okay everything you'll have to mention so if i'll mention this vital signs what temperature was what pulse respiration for input output what was the input okay. so next come the progress note so in progress note you'll have to write the progress note max minimum of 3 days only okay so like on the first day so uh, you'll have to mention on first day what was the child condition like 
what medication he was on then second day is what was his condition whether it was improved his condition is improved his condition is not improved and on third day what is his condition okay everything you have to mention the progress note next you all have to mention the summary and then is the bibliography so here i have given you four bibliography of different textbook parul datta rimpal sharma wongs wongs you know mentioning wongs in your child health nursing care plans as in bibliography is very important because and it is very compulsory and referring wongs for your wongs and parul datta for your child health nursing studies is very nice okay because that books has a lot of nice content then is johns and ballet okay so you i've given the page numbers also thank you